Hey, welcome back, fellow YouTubers and subscribers. So, today what I have laid out here is some mods that I'm going to be working on. And um, so I think I've gotten myself into a mess. And I think this happens when maybe my eyeballs are a bit bigger, you know, than my pocketbook. So it all started out with this um, body I bought from Timu. And I got this body because um, I thought it was uh, pretty cool. You know, and it had um, some cutouts. Um, let me see if I can uh, set this down. Forgive me, because I'm using, you know, my, my cell phone to record my YouTube videos. I don't want to get too technical about stuff, you know? I'm just here, you know, like this is Mr. Rogers' Corner. So I bought this body off of Timu. And, um, it's got a really nice tight, I mean, I think there's a blemish here, but the pig guard's gonna cover that, you know, definitely gonna cover that. And, um, so I was like, okay, now that I have a body, hold on, let me see if I can get that down low. Now that I have a body, I was looking at the routing, you know... When you buy stuff from Timu, you're just really never going to know the, the fit and finish of certain things. But uh, I have the tools to make the holes for the bridge. Um, and so I'm happy that it has the cutouts um, for, you know, for the, uh, for the pick guard. And I was trying different variations because I have so many pig guards, you know. I was looking at that and, yeah, you know, but it, the thing that I, I get kind of stuck with is, um, you know, I, I, I still might even go with this route, is what's going to fit in the body. Um, because I do have, you know, pickups that can kind of fit in there. Um, for example, I'll show you. Okay, so you see, I could do something like this, and this doesn't look too bad, you know. Um, because this uh, off-white or aged pearl, pearloid pickguard does well for this. Now, where did these pickups come from? They actually came from this Firefly Telly. And um, now I'm really struggling with this because... I'm not big on tallies, but I bought these pickups on Timu, these hot rails. I wanted to just see like what was the, the sound of them, and they're fine. You know, they they're good pickups. But my my gripe about this whole guitar is I, I'm kind of torn between why they make tallies with humbuckers anyway. Um, I mean, you're buying a Telecaster body and. If you don't have a Telecaster type tone in your arsenal of guitars, why bother having this? You know, so what I did is I ordered another pick. Well, I didn't really order a pick card. I'm going to use this. And as a different variation is I'm going to go Tele on this. Um, I can cut out whatever needs to there. But I'm going to... Um, try and actually get this to sounding like a Telecaster if possible or maybe not you know now what I'm going to do back here is I brought I bought a bridge cover that will actually I'll be able to put a Tele humbucker um, or a Tele single coil in this pocket I mean it's worth a shot because this I have enough double humbuckers and you know how they all get to sounding so um and so, with this body over here, I was thinking, well, what am I going to do about the neck? I was already ready to scrap this. Maybe this neck will fit on there. But this neck has the truss rod here, you know, so maybe it won't work. It's not a standard neck profile. Um, I think there's a... 
maybe a, a deeper cut or a longer cut to accommodate, or there's just a, probably a special cut to accommodate for that truss rod. So then I went to San Diego because I saw this being sold really cheap, and I thought it was just a regular Fender Squire. So I went down there and um, talked to the guy, and uh, he was cool about it. And uh, I went over the guitar, and I noticed that there was a another little chip right here on the neck and I was like um I'm a little confused because I told the guy um I is this a classic vibe and he goes I don't know you'll have to look it up on the serial number <laughs> and so it's even it's still got the plastic on there uh, I said oh, okay you know and I kind of was digging on it um and it really is a classic vibe I got this guitar for $120 and I thought well that's a killer deal so I brought it home and I was playing it and I actually like the sound I don't even think I want to mess with it not for 120 bucks and so you know I bought these other pick guards from Timu you know again my eyeballs are bigger than uh, my pocketbook so I was thinking well you know maybe I'll just go this direction you know kind of do that I was kind of liking that I think because of the black trim this kind of flows because uh, I also bought a red one you know but it's not like a you know this flows too because of the the wood green here you know it, it was kind of hard to that I mean they both work honestly they both work um, I'm still deciding on that. So getting back to the mod, yeah. So this is one direction I can go, but I still don't have a bridge and I don't have a neck and that stuff can come very easily. But then also on Facebook Marketplace, I forgot <laughs> that I had bought and, um, well, here's another pick guard that I was thinking of using, like this humbucker, you know, and using this one here, you know, so doing a, a humbucker like that, right, doing that, but with this pick guard, you know, kind of something like that. So, now, with this pickup, I think I got this for like 20 or 30 bucks. It's got a Linko 5 pickups in there, but it actually did fit this body, so that's a relief. Yeah, the way that it is, it, it did fit inside of that cavity, so I know I can use that. And I think this is probably what I'll do because I prefer an HSS other than this. Maybe I'll just save this for another time. Um, yeah. Okay, so you see how, how I'm just kind of really overthinking things and I'm not really sure. But this is what happens when you start thinking about, you start off with one piece, right? Well, not even that. I actually started off buying this loaded pick guard cheap on marketplace all right and then um, with all of my extra parts including pick guards I mean I got a ton of them here now you know with projects that were completed or not completed I also have these uh, pickups from a Schecter traditional pro that I can wire as a standard three-way I didn't like them wired as a five-way this is a five-way selector I, I didn't like the tone of these pickups that's actually why I ended up buying that one because I didn't really like these so this I think I'm gonna go and try and go full telly and I'll show you the parts I got here I ordered so this is what I ordered here um, I got uh, this plate right here will accommodate 
the pickup. You see that? And they come in black, gold, or so I just got a silver one. I didn't want to get too crazy. And then I got this pickup set right here, you know, totally telly. You know, it's a telly, telecaster kind of thing. 14 bucks, you know, not a big deal. Um, so I'm going to put that set into here. And I'm just going to use um, this pick guard. I don't think I have another pick guard. This is came off of something else. Um, see, I already have another pick guard for a humbucker, but I'm just kind of like maybe you guys agree. Like I, I I'm kind of wondering why they do a lot of this. I kind of like the body shape, but I would prefer to maybe have more of a traditional tele tone than the double humbucker. Because now it's not really a Telecaster anymore. It's a basic rock guitar I think another thing I was struggling with is this came as a floating bridge and you see how high my saddles are well the only way to get my saddles down lower is to have it as a floating bridge now I contacted uh, the company that sells these and that's uh, Soundgarden is it Soundgarden? Um, our garden gear let me check what the hell yeah it's guitars garden wow look at that man they just came out with this one <laughs> you know sometimes they come out with some cool stuff um but what you see it, it, i don't know it, you know it's all what you see what you get maybe um so that's new and then of course they have well hold on guys sorry um so yeah so they have that right now so you know this is your traditional humbucker telly style right here um string through body that's great could be a veneer flamed maple veneer seems like one of their standard necks um Looks like a roasted, just a standard roasted maple neck. But it looks sharp, man. I mean, the purple and the blue look cool. Right? It, it does. It looks kind of cool. So that's on sale. And they have this uh, perloid sort of binding on there. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about this uh, distributor. Guitars Garden, I think it's just a guy and his wife. Uh, I sent back them a guitar because um, I ordered one and the tuners were not good and when I tracked the tracking number it went to a residence of a house and I only usually end up talking to two people usually when there's an issue with a guitar. Um, so and these are their um, Les Paul style guitars. Now they have a, a case, well that's 79 bucks, that's not bad a lot of these maybe they got them from team I don't really know pretty standard case for a Les Paul but it's nice for 80 bucks um, you can get one a real like Epiphone Les Paul case for 120 so but that's a nice looking case so these are coming out of China somewhere for sure um, yeah so that's a new addition to that fit style I guess that's for those they're selling that so they have some stuff that's coming out this is new I haven't seen this before this is a base that they're selling that's kind of cool you know um, you know Firefly is like any like you know like anybody else that's putting out stuff from China Harley Benton Feastly I mean, it just doesn't matter um, they're all in the same category, but who's doing it right? It's hard to say. So I took a chance on this. Um, it's got the big block trim, you know. But here's what I think why this, because, you know, this, is, this was actually a returned item to them. I think that this neck is too big for this cavity. So, like, when you look at this neck cavity, 
it's really shallow it's really down there and the um, the bridge saddles are really really low and you can really get a really low profile on the fretboard really low on this one you can because it's just that much higher so I think with this one here in particular it's just a lot higher to me I think the only way to get my saddles on this particular guitar without it being floating down a lot further is that this neck in the block area is just too it's too it's too thick it needs to come down maybe uh, one eighth of an inch just like you know I think it should be hovering right over the uh, the rosewood it should be right on top of that but I think that's the real issue with this particular one but don't quote me on that I also found this in San Diego well yeah was it no this was in um, Vista and uh, I haven't had an Ibanez in a long time and so um, I really liked it I just kind of like the vibe of it it's really clean the guy did a great job polishing the frets however I like it because it's got a super fast speed neck is I didn't like um, I didn't like this pickup is horrible and this one didn't really sound like rain right. so they're ceramic but the INF3 this is really bad uh, it just it's really like microphonic it's just bad and the INF4 is actually a better one and, and the bridge pickup does sound good but um, yeah so the neck is not good and I don't really care for that either and it is a five-way selector so what did I decide to do well I saw a guy with this same guitar and um, and I decided I would do the same thing um, so I ordered let me go back here to my orders so what I did was I decided you know I would order two humbuckers now these are all Linko 5 so here's the middle this is an Linko 5 you know Let's see if I can show you that well that's just one of the three but I only ordered this one right here the middle one and then um, I ordered two white and one bridge one humbucker but I didn't get them hot like you know 15k to 16k that's just too much for me I would prefer a lower impedion so these are seven to eight um, this is the neck seven to eight okay and then I ordered also the bridge in white but the low profile Let's see bridge white is eight to nine and I ordered that one so I'm gonna use those pickups and put them in here you know so that's kind of what I got going on guys I mean so this is you know that one of those things that you kind of run into when you're on T uh, Timu and your eyeballs are just kind of bigger your aspirations but I got one more thing to show you before this video gets way too long hold on okay so maybe I kind of bit off more than I can chew because I, I told myself I wasn't gonna do another um, do-it-yourself kit I bought one off of Timu, it was uh, a Tele. I had some mild success with that. I actually was able to sell it to a gentleman out here who, I guess it's kind of a, he's a tinker, so he likes to tinker around, and so he ended up buying it from me. He said I did a pretty good job, um, but he wanted to refine it. And I said, okay, well, you know, so, now, this is something that might be a little bit over my head. I'm probably going to have to go to Harbor Freight and um, pick up some clamps. Um, but I saw this and I fell in love with, well, what I think I would like to do or try, you know. Um, I tried trying to, I tried to looking online for the same kit but I really couldn't so I don't know if you guys can see that so it's got some spalted wood on the side you know 
This is your uh, very typical um, Les Paul style. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, and it is, it's got some flamed maple here. It's got a really beautiful piece of wood, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's always amazing sometimes when you see wood like this, but however they did it, you know, I'll take some sandpaper to it and all that good stuff. Um, you know, there's a little imperfections along the way, but, uh, you know, these little things, you know, I'm not looking to perfect guitar building at all. You know, do with these do-it-yourself kits, so um, you can put some of that uh, mahogany stain in the back to get it red, and then maybe do a multi-stain up here, you know, a yellow with, some, with uh, purple, or whatever kind of burst, you know, you can kind of think of it. It's got an open grain here and then a very tight grain right here. Very interesting. It gets really cramped right there. Um, man, it's a beautiful piece of wood. It's going to really pop. Now the wood on the neck... Uh, I think it's one of these that doesn't even have instructions. It's not going to tell you exactly what you're going to do, but the reason why I'm going to go to Harbor Freight is to uh, get a better clamp for this neck. So it's definitely got some fret spurs, and it's got this weird um, line across. It almost looks like a crack, right? But it's not, it's uh, it's part of the uh, spalted wood. Um, you know, that might, that might end up being a return. <laughs> Cause it looks too much like a crack, it, it, it does. If it's got a veneer, it's very, very thin. It seems to have some sort of veneer there up here. I do see it, but what an awkward looking piece, you know. Plastic nut. Um, but that's that's kind of odd. Why, why would they want to? Anyway. Uh, I'll have to give that some thought because so this now is supposed to fit in here, right? Somehow, somewhere, and yeah, so you're supposed to glue it in right there, you know. Um, So yeah, as you can see, it, it joins up nice there. It doesn't really lay flush with the body. And this is why the clamps will be very critical here. And it doesn't really, there's some gaps uh, on the back side. Something that I'm sure some wood putty would uh, fix. So it's got a nice scarf joint, you know, but very interesting. That's all I could say about it. It's, it's very interesting. Um, Again, this is, uh, it's got some really, really bad fret spur going on here. And I don't know if this is a composite fretboard. I almost want to say it is. It's definitely not rosewood. 
So, as much as I think I liked it, I'm going to just take some pictures of that and show it to them. I don't think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, that's just not what I pictured. And that's okay, you know, it can go back. Because that just looks too much like a crack in the neck. It's very um, unsettling with, to the eye. You know, if it had some veins going off, and I'm not going to start drawing on it or nothing, but, you know, I want it to be natural. But um, I'll take some pictures of that. You know, it's not even what I saw uh, in the picture anyway. If I go to um, how it looks picture okay so that's how it looked in the picture and that's kind of what I was expecting you know half of it to look something like that that's that's nice okay well, <laughs> that's definitely not that, no, anyway, so, yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll probably send that back, the more that I think about it, uh, I don't really like that, and I don't know who would, but why would I settle for that, uh, I think I paid uh, over a hundred bucks for this one, because I really was digging on the, this whole thing, but, you know what? Oh well. And then, right before I say goodbye, I was thinking, well, why don't I try putting this neck on the blue guitar? But uh, the Fender Classic vibe, you know, this thing's got some weight to it, man. So it's got an alder body. I think it's pine. Could be pine. I'm not really sure of all the details, but what I'm going to do is there's no tone on the bridge, so I'm going to jump. Uh, one of the wires from the second tone pot or the first tone pot to the bridge and restring it, polish the frets and uh, see if they go from there. But I think this could be pine. I have to do, I have to run the serial number, but it is a classic vibe. That's what I do know. So that's all I got today, guys. Um, I'm going to do a demo on this with the new pickups. I didn't want to do one with these pickups. I'm just telling you straight up that uh, the INF3, both of these are no good. So I might as well just replace them all three. Anything's got to be better than that neck pickup. And then I'll either keep this the same by putting the red or the black. I'm still kind of torn what to do. Do I do that or do I do the red? Which seems to be not bad either to be more typical um, all right guys well thanks for hanging out and as always take care and this is what happens when your eyeballs are bigger than your pocketbook and now I'm not sure which which way to go a lot of decisions to make right so that's what I end up doing thanks for joining me and uh, hopefully I'll be doing some videos of what I'm gonna do with the blue one um, I got enough Telecasters, but I think these are some really good pickups, so maybe I'll just use this, you know, because what I really need is the neck, so hopefully this neck will fit on that blue strap body, because um, I got another one like that, this body right here, this Squire down there, so I already got another one of those, so maybe I can just sell the body, you know. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out as always.